anyway, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to um, create a linear model for um, this particular relationship. A company finds that the number of people who purchase this product is linearly, linearly related to the amount it spends on advertising. If 20,000 is spent on advertising, 100,000 products will be sold. If 50,000 is spent on advertising, 200,000 products will be sold. For this one, what we want to do is we want to find an equation for the amount spent on advertising A. We're going to let this be our Y coordinate, and um, we're going to let the number of products sold be X. So eventually what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have A equals MX plus B. We're using A instead of Y. It's the same thing. Um, but in order to do this, the first thing that we have to do is identify our ordered pairs. So our ordered pairs, if we look at X being the number of products sold, it, when we sell 100,000, that means that we spent 20,000 on advertising. Okay, And when we spell, spend 200,000, I mean, sorry, when we sell 200,000 products, we spent 50,000 on advertising. So essentially what we have here is two ordered pairs. And so to come up with the equation, what we want to do is we want to use the relationship. Um, I'm going to use point slope form. So I'm going to do the y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And what we want to do first is find the slope. So we're going to find the slope from the given points. Remember that this is our change in y over change in x, or we can do y2 minus y1. Let me fix that. I said it. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's find our slope first, and then we're going to plug everything into here. It does not matter which of the two points you pick. Um, for your equation, I'm going to go ahead and pick this one right here. So if we find our slope, um, that's the one that I'm going to use to plug in for x1 and y1. If we use our slope, what we're going to do is we're going to do the 50,000 minus 20,000 divided by 200,000 minus 100,000. Okay. And when I do that, when I end up doing that, m ends up being um, 3 over 10, because if I take 50,000 minus 20,000, I get 30,000. And you could skip a lot of these steps. 200,000 minus 100,000 um, is 100,000. So what we can do is cancel out all these zeros, and we can see that m is 3 tenths. Or if you would rather work with it as a decimal, you could also put it in as 0 0.30. Either way is acceptable. So now what we're going to do is we're going to replace m with 3 tenths. We're going to replace y1 with 20,000. And we are going to replace x1 with 100,000. Okay, and so now if I simplify this, and I know that instead of using y, let me change that. Um, they asked for it to use a, so I'm going to write this as a instead of y. Um, it means the same thing. So in this case, since we are using um, a for y, that's what I'm going to replace in there. So now if I simplify, what I have to do is remember that you always want to distribute first. So I would have a minus 20,000 equals 3 tenths x. And when I simplify this part right here, if I take this, um, the 3 tenths times 100,000, I'll lose one of the zeros because of dividing it by 10. And so 3 times 10,000 is really 30,000. And then if I bring the 20,000 over to the other side, we end up with a equals 3 tenths x. And then if I add the 20,000 from the other side, we end up with minus 10,000. So this would be our equation to represent the amount. So the amount is equal 3 tenths of x minus 10,000. So the second question that we are asked is how much would need to be spent on advertising if they want to sell 300,000 products? 
So what we want to do is we want to find A if X is 300,000. So we would take and replace X in our problem with 300,000 minus 10,000 and we would simplify. So this part right here, if we simplify, um, a zero would cancel out. So if I do three times 30,000, that gives me 90,000. Minus 10,000, which equals 80,000. So we could write that in context. So we would say to sell 300,000 products, the company would need to spend $80,000 on advertising. It's always important to write it in context and spell it out. Um, the last thing that we're going to do is interpret the slope in context. So if you recall, Remember that um, our Y coordinate or the top part represents the amount spent on advertisement. So um, what we are going to do is we're gonna look at our slope. So remember our slope is three over 10 or 0 0.30. And remember that we're talking about money. So what this would mean is for each $0.30 cents spent on advertising, one additional product is sold. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.